Hello, I'm Martine Croxall in this episode of Extreme Weather. A wet start to 2012 as tropical storms batter Southeast Asia. No end in sight to the drought in Texas. Renewed floods in the Philippines as people struggle after Typhoon Washi. And we take a look at some of the world's foggiest places. 2012 has begun with a series of tropical storms in the Asia-Pacific region that caused widespread flooding from Australia to India. In Australia's Northern Territory, a freight train carrying toxic chemicals was swept off a bridge across the Edith River near Catherine. About 150 metres of the rail track, which links Darwin to Alice Springs, were washed away after Cyclone Grant caused flash flooding. The two-man crew of the train were rescued and taken to hospital suffering from minor injuries. Around 50 people were killed when Cyclone Tane hit the southern Indian coastal states of Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. It's thought more than 5,000 homes in fishing communities along the coast were inundated. The tropical storm, which originated in the Bay of Bengal, was downgraded from very severe to severe as it made landfall. But it still dumped more than 500 millimetres of rain in just three days. Flash flooding damaged thousands of buildings in southern Thailand, so residents and holidaymakers had to evacuate their homes and hotels. High winds and tides resulted in unusually big waves that pounded the coast, including some tourist resorts in the provinces of Yala, Patani, Songkhla and Naratiwat. Thailand is still trying to recover from widespread flooding in 2011, which claimed more than 800 lives and caused $45 billion worth of damage. Heavy rainfall and flooding has added to the misery in the southern Philippines island of Mindanao, as residents, emergency services and aid agencies try to clean up after Typhoon Washi. According to the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council, fresh flooding hit 14 provinces just days after Washi killed at least 1,500 people and made tens of thousands homeless. At least 25 people were killed when a mudslide triggered by heavy rain swept through a mining village in Compostela. And another eight people died from leptospirosis, a bacterial disease often spread by infected flood water. The new year has also brought storms to parts of the United Kingdom causing widespread damage with a number of deaths reported. Once again, Scotland bore the brunt with gusts of up to 180 kilometres per hour, blizzards and driving rain. Motorists on this stretch of road at Largs on the west coast braved waves and debris as the sea was whipped up by gale force winds. Roads and bridges were closed and trains and flights were cancelled as the UK Meteorological Office issued severe weather warnings for many parts of the country. Farmers in the US state of Texas, already suffering from the worst drought since records began, have been told that 2012 is unlikely to be any better. The Texas state climatologist John Nielsen Gammon says it's likely that the drought, which has killed more than 600,000 cattle and destroyed half a million trees, will continue for at least another year and possibly until 2020. Many ranches received less than a quarter of the average annual rainfall last year and Nielsen Gammon predicts that climate change could cause average temperatures in Texas to rise by several degrees Fahrenheit. Householders in some parts of England were asked to ration water use over the holiday season by taking short showers instead of baths and not washing their cars. It was only the second time that an emergency drought order has been issued over the Christmas and New Year period. The order affected nearly 65,000 homes in the southeast of the country and followed the driest 12 months on record. In past editions of Extreme Weather, we've looked at the hottest, the wettest and the coldest places on Earth. But have you ever wondered about the foggiest? Most experts agree that the Grand Banks off the eastern tip of Canada endure more foggy days a year than anywhere else. That's because two ocean currents, the cold Labrador Current and the warm Gulf Stream, meet just off the coast. Almost as gloomy is the area around San Francisco Bay, which can have up to 200 foggy days a year. The bay's famous Golden Gate Bridge is often shrouded by dense fog that also presents a hazard for ships entering and leaving the busy harbour. According to the US Office of the Federal Coordinator for Meteorology, fog is only said to occur when visibility is less than one kilometre. If visibility is more than that, it's classified as mist. That's it for this edition. Don't forget if you've got video of an extreme weather event in your neighbourhood, be sure to let us know and we'll feature it on a future episode.